Well, good morning from Orlando, Florida. The time right now is nine minutes past seven in the morning. I've been up since 5 a.m. because obviously the time difference. Went to sleep at about 10 o'clock at night last night. Was in the hotel from about five to eight. Was just shattered, but today's a big day. You can probably hear the car getting ready there. We're going to Tampa. Uh, we're going to Busch Gardens, as you've probably seen from the title of this video. So excited, first day in Orlando, Florida. Scott on a plane today as well, so we're going to be cheering them on. 3 o'clock kickoff for me, since I'm 5 hours behind. But anyway, without further ado, just going for breakfast right now at Starbucks, I think. And then we will head to Tampa, to Busch Gardens. Here we go. Starbucks literally 2 minutes away from the hotel, so... Just gonna go in and grab some breakfast before we head the 90 minute trip to Tampa. So for breakfast I've gone for the buttered croissant and an apple juice. My dad's went for a bagel with cappuccino. Yeah. My mum's went for a bagel also with a cappuccino. Yeah. There we are just out of Starbucks now and it is time to make the 90 minute trip to Bush Gardens. Time now is 10 to 8 in the morning, it opens at 10am so we will be there early but it's better to be there early than late isn't it so Well we have arrived at Bush Gardens, just getting on a tram to go over to the theme park you can probably see that big coaster there So it is already absolutely roasting and the time now, park opens at 10, is 9.22. Don't require some and we will be able to assist you. Please remain seated at all times while the tram is in motion, keeping all body parts inside the tram. I have been here before, but I only was about three years old, so cannot wait. And I am a big roller coaster fan, so it is going to be good. Well, here is the main entrance to the park and I've made it and I've got my ticket for the day. Look at some of these coasters that you can see all around right now. The time is half nine so there is a bit of a queue to get in but representing Scotland today I hope we can win man. <sighs> so nervous for the game. Three o'clock kickoff because of the USA time difference but ah well hopefully we can do it. I won't be able to watch it but I'll follow on the live score. National Anthem of the USA plane. Have fun. Hi. Okay, you're good? Thank you. And I've made it in. And well, first look into Bush Gardens as you walk through the main entrance. You've got a shop there. And then a straight path round to the theme park. I have been here before but as I said I was like three years old so can't remember anything about this place so I am just about to get on the first ride of the day, Iron Gwazi so look at that, big drop but I'm not going to take my GoPro on the ride because I don't want to risk it so I'll see you all when I get off of this Iron Gwazi look at that, <laughs> I am just off of the ride and whoa that was madness <laughs> oh man, um, never rode anything like that. The amount of times you go on the side, the drop is mental, but I love roller coasters, so it was quite good. But yeah, on to the next ride. That one was absolutely mental. I definitely couldn't have taken my GoPro onto that one. Look at this real life alligators. On to the next ride. I think it's the cheetah. Looks mental, um, but it doesn't bother me because I mean, I love roller coasters, so here we go. Cheetah hunt, 55 minute wait. Going myself. Let's do it. I'll see you all when I'm off. Well, I am just off of Cheetah, and I tell you what, it was a pretty good ride. Quite fast, I swear it launches you about three times, so yeah, right up my street. It was pretty good, so yeah, on to the next. No way, my absolute favourite animal. Oh. Absolute favourite animal, look at that. Penguins, I love them. There's one right here. 
Look at this. Real life elephants. Going through the mass now. So nice. And well, next stop is that. Well, I'm just off of Falcon's Fury and I, oh, it's high. <laughs> Felt like I was holding on for my life. And oh, <laughs> that was mental. Probably one of the maddest rides I've ever been on, to be honest. <laughs> no way. My absolute favourite animal. <laughs> Absolute favourite animal. Look at that. Penguins. I love it. There's one right here. And now, straight after Falcon's Fury, which was mental by the way, I'm on to Scorpion. And I'm not breathing because I'm out of breath. I'm breathing because that was very, very high. And my heart. <laughs> Could not take that. Just off of that coaster, not too bad, but still trying to catch my breath from uh, the big drop tower that I was on because that was absolutely mental. So I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a break. Lunchtime, got a spring roll, fried rice, chocolate chip cookie, and then I don't drink fizzy drinks, but I did say punch, so hopefully it's not fizzy. A tiger just there. Just off another big ride, Kumba. I tell you what, it goes upside down about eight times. It's unbelievable. And now it is time to head through this one and then this one over here, which this one. It does remind me of a Bolivia in that Alton Towers in the UK. I do not have the courage to go on that. I do not want to get soaked today. I know it is a sunny day, but still loads of time left. Of course, I'm going on this one and then this ride as well. Well, we have come into a show because thunder and lightning in the area, so the theme park is shut, so currently waiting on a show starting because all the rides are shut due to a massive thunder and lightning storm so great Performance has just stopped and been delayed due to technical difficulties. Unless we're back now. Who knows? grey as anything so the thunder and lightning is about to start so we do need to get some shelter and here we go for the second show of the day since we can't do any rides at the moment which is gotten because we still have quite a few to do but hopefully it'll clean up shortly I honestly feel like I'm back in Scotland. I feel like I'm home. 
It's not looking good. <laughs> Uh, it's finally time to ride this one. Well, just off of Tigris and the big one that is like Oblivion that has the steep drop. They were both very good. So now on to Cobra's Curse and Montour, something like that. I'm pretty sure that's what the ride is called. So yeah, let's get there. Without further ado, the current time is 6.36. Park closes at 9, so still got plenty of time. off of Cobra's Curse and Bond too, so I just snuck a wee last minute cheetah ride there, so there we have it, that is me done, time to head for the exit for the 90 minute drive. And I have made it out. Now departing. Once again, please stand clear. We are now departing. Welcome back aboard the Bush Gardens Courtesy Tram. For your safety, please remain seated at all times, keeping all body parts in the tram. And staff as you exit. Just like that, we have made it back to the hotel. It's time for bed. It is three minutes past ten. I was going to do vlogs for Disney Universal, etc., but I don't think I will anymore. Just here to enjoy myself on my holiday. I'll do one for Bush Gardens, obviously, which I have done. Um, but yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you all have a good rest of your day whenever you're watching this.